Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you a wiggle effect or what some people call a wobble effect. I've heard it called a warp effect, a displacement effect, even a flag effect. Let me show you what it is. You'll see here that both the image and the text that I added in here are wobbling or displacing so to speak and you get that nice little organic um, fluctuation so to speak so let me show you how it's done I'm gonna delete all of this stuff here and the first step here is I've got some video footage in the timeline the next step I'm just gonna drag and drop this image of my dog Kingston <laughs> my bulldog I'm gonna pull that into the timeline as well I'm going to increase the length of the image so it's the full length of the video I'm going to double click on the image so I can resize it and then I'm just going to put it down here and drag and drop it to the bottom right of the um, canvas. So there we go. We've got, an, we've got a video in the background and we've got my puppy dog in the background. Now the next step here is I'm going to create some text really quickly. I'm going to left click on the type tool or the text tool and I'm going to type in Italy because I believe this video is taken in Italy. So I'm going to type that in, and then I'm going to move that somewhere, I don't know, somewhere down here so you can see it. Oh, let's move it up. Let's move it right here. Good enough. All right, cool. So we've got Italy in there, and I'm going to increase the length of the text so that it's the full uh, duration as, of the video as well as the image. So there we go. Now, let's get into the technique. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the effects panel here. For me, it's right at the top right here. You'll notice I'm in the effects workspace. And go to your effects panel. Type in... Here's the one, Turbulent. So once you start typing in Turbulent, you'll see that there's an effect called Turbulent Displays. Drag and drop that onto the text. When you do that, it's going to warp the text quite considerably, and that's totally okay. We want to now go to the Effect Controls panel, and when you go there, you're going to see Turbulent Displays has been applied. Now this is quite a displacement, so to speak, so I'm going to just go ahead and pull it down to say 35 because that's a bit too much in my opinion okay good so now we've warped the text but it is not animated it is not waving or warping or wiggling or flagging or whatever you want to call it so you can go ahead and adjust the type of displacement do just note I'll show you a few examples bulge twist etc for this for this tutorial this will just go with turbulent but I just want you to be aware that there are other types of uh, warping um, what we want to do now is we want to go down to the evolution, and this is the one that you want to click on. Make sure that your playhead is at the beginning. Left click on evolution, and you're going to notice that it's at set to zero. Now you want to go all the way to the end of the video, right there, and go back a step here, and you want to increase the evolution considerably. So I'm going to increase it to, you know what, let's do, let's do five evolutions. It's a bit more than I would normally do. But I'm going to have five rotations. So here we go. We're going to get up to five. There we go. Perfect. So let's take a look at what we've got now. I'm going to go back to the beginning. And I'm going to hit the space bar. And you'll see here that we have the text waving or displacing or wiggling. And that is how you create wiggle. I will show you one more thing. You'll see here that in the effect controls panel that we have turbulent displace. You can actually go to edit and then go edit, copy, and then I'm going to go to the image, which is my second, uh, on the second video track, and I'm going to go to edit, play, uh, edit, paste, pardon me, not place, I'm thinking of Photoshop here, edit, paste, and now look, the displacement or the wiggle is applied to both the text and the image, guys, that's it, thanks for watching, I'll be back soon with some more tutorials. 